So a bunch of different stores I have in the sale right now. If you're looking to upgrade your wardrobe, now would be the perfect time to do so. I was able to pick up a few different pieces. I'm gonna share those with y'all and I'll leave everything linked in the description. First one we're gonna start off with is this shirt that I'm wearing right now. It's called a seven cut zip flannel from Needles. So it's a bunch of different vintage shirts cut and stitched together in panels. Each of these panels all have zips throughout. On the front, it just has a button closure. It has an asymmetrical hem at the bottom. All of these are one of one because they are vintage shirts and they only come in one size. I usually wear medium in shirts. This fits more like a large extra large on me so when i wear this out i probably go with more of an oversized type of look they come in a few different colors as well i think it's a pretty interesting design it's a little different than what i usually wear but i like it a lot next is a t-shirt from agni studios overall it does have more of a vintage type of look to it it's like an off-white burgundy type color it just got one graphic at the front with some text kind of like a varsity jacket type design on the sleeves and on the back it just got one agni studios logo these details are burgundy and gray really good quality t-shirt it's pretty stretchy as well but unfortunately i do have to return this i'm between a medium and a larger shirt so i picked this up in a medium and it's way too tight on me so i gotta bring it back if you are looking to pick it up definitely size up because it does run small the so next one is this adidas shirt so just quickly going over the shirt comes in like a neon green type of color has a mock neck and has stripes from the shoulder all the way down to the sleeves. The sleeves have a cuff design on the end. On the front, it got this pattern that goes all the way down to the bottom, and then just a plain design on the back. So basic shirt, material is not too thick, but even if you don't wanna wear it now, you can wear it in the fall. The reason I picked this up is because it reminds me of Balenciaga. I saw it and said, let me just try it out. So we're just gonna try a side to see if I actually like the look. Next, we got two shirts from Uniqlo. Pretty basic button up collar shirts. So I got one in blue and then one in white. They feature more of a boxy fit and the sleeve does come a little bit above the elbow and then at the bottom it got a straight cut so it does have that boxy type look to it these are actually women's shirts i'm usually a medium in shirts and men's and then i picked this up in a large it has more of an oversized fit i think they come in at like 30 dollars each not much else i could say about them if you want to market for some shirts definitely check these out next one is this shirt from cost it's pretty much just a basic white t-shirt i think it comes in like both white and black so i picked it up in white cost shirts usually fit on the more slim side picked this up in a large good quality material as well it has more of a relaxed type of fit to it so if you are looking to pick up some good basics definitely check out costs so next we're moving on the bottoms so i got a pair of shorts these are gramici nylon shorts pretty simple pair of shorts so they got two pockets on the front and then two more pockets at the back. Each of the pockets have a Velcro strap in case you wanna close up the pocket so your things don't fall out. It also features an integrated belt throughout in case you wanna tighten up the shorts. And these do sit above your knee. My waist size is a 32 and I picked up a medium in this and these fit fine. So not too much I could say about these, just a basic pair of nylon shorts. Next one is the Nanushka Doxy shorts in black. So these are made out of vegan leather, which is basically fake leather. Got two pockets on the side, no pocket on the back. And they stop right above the knee as well. It has an elasticized waist, two drawstrings as well in case you want to tighten it up. And I'm a 32 waist and I got these in a medium because it has more of a wide type fit. What's good about these, you can dress these up or dress these down. I've seen people wear leather shorts in so many different ways. I've had these on my wish list for like two years now and saw them on sale, so I decided to just pick them up. Next are these Adidas track pants. Overall, these have more of a vintage type of look to them. They're color blocked in three different colors, kind of a rust, navy, and then green. Elasticized waist, two drawstrings at the front, cuffs at the bottom are also elasticized. So I got two pockets on the side with zips and then got one more pocket on the back and then on the back it also has these Adidas logo in a circle design and on the front it has one logo as well just some good casual pants if you want to throw them on and they go with pretty much anything that's it for the pants so next let's talk about accessories so first one are these glasses from Oakley so these are called the Sutro sunglasses more of a wraparound type design on it this one is in black but it does come in a few different colors as well pretty much just an all black lens cheaper alternative for like the Rick Owens or the Prada ones the lens itself features something that makes colors brighter when you wear it wouldn't necessarily wear with this fit but of a kind of different look to your fits in case you guys are looking to switch up the look a little bit next one is this tote bag from marnie comes in a two-tone design so on the front we got this gray pattern and on the back you got a black pattern it features two leather handles and then it has the money tag on the front and it says made in italy on the inside it is just an open bag there's no pocket or anything this has more of a structured bottom so when you put it down it can stand up on its own so i do wish that it had a pocket on the inside just to like throw accessories or anything like that when i first picked this up i didn't expect it to be as light as it is those are my only complaints about it pretty much it for the marni tote next i feel like i talked about these so many times but the balenciaga runners these are the multicolor variations 
description if you are looking for a full review on this just check out the other video on my channel but basically it's just a distress stinker throughout it it has kind of a worn out effect this specific model has colors throughout it purple in it some orange yellow a little bit of green got the sizing on the front sizing on the back a couple logos sprinkled throughout i know this looks like a crazy shoe in hand especially with all those colors but when you have it on it's really a lot more subtle than you would think when i'm a nine and a half i got this in a 42 so if you are looking to pick these up definitely size down the last one is a salomon speed cross trail running shoe i picked these up for the gym i just needed another pair of shoes pretty much an all white sneaker with some black detailing throughout. And on the bottom has a good traction pattern. It just has this pull tab at the front in case you wanna tighten up the shoe. Overall, these are pretty comfortable on foot. I did size up half, so I'm a nine and a half and I went with a 10. And I think they fit me fine, but I do have wider feet. You might be able to get away with going true to size. So either true to size or your full size should be okay in these. That's pretty much it for the pickups. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.